So this is our table of contents. I just finished explaining to you. Uh, this is the introduction. I just finished telling you all about the intro, what you should know. And this is the table of contents. Of course, this angle of it. And this table of content is showing you basically what we're going to be doing here. You know, the next thing after me explaining this is we're going to be jumping into the demo of this project so that you see what you'll be working on, you know, for this particular section. So that is what we want to do. And afterward, we're going to look into the CI ecosystem. All right. So in the CI ecosystem, uh, like I previously just said, it constitutes the, the hosters and the renting hosters. Okay. The hosters, they utilize a software called host, host, and then the rent hosters, they utilize a, a software called rent hard. We're going to be more focused in the renting aspect of this because that is what this particular uh, tutorial is based on is based upon you know utilizing the rent has the rent hard software okay which you will seen you soon know a lot about okay so and then i'm going to walk you through the uh, the api documentation because that is where we're going to be uh utilizing to bring about our application to life all right so uh, we will then go into setting up the environment okay uh, the environment setup. They have both mainnet, which in that place they actually use real money and it's more robust. Okay, and they have the testnet, which is uh, is called the Zen testnet. Okay, which provides you with the framework or the place, the environment where you can run a test and see how the ecosystem actually performs, and you can use that in the development process. And then when you're ready, you can then you know, transition into the mainnet, you understand, just like with Ethereum or with other, you know, uh, blockchain networks. So that is the software we'll be using. Then we're going to have to install it on your local machine. Um, they, they have a uh, beautiful API documentation that I had already prescribed, you know, outlined the steps that you need to take, whether you're a Mac user, a Windows user, or a Linux user, you're going to have all those things installed. You know it the steps clearly has you know great documentation about it so after we're done with just doing that local installation okay in case you want to rely on local installation you know we want to utilize for this tutorial we want to utilize docker installation why we're doing docker is because it will be a lot easier for you to to deploy it on you know on a network that you want to use it i mean on your vps or a cloud story a cloud computer this is important because if you're going to be uh buying a vps or a cloud space on online then you're going to have to run this on a docker container which is the most efficient way for you to avoid too many hassles all right so that's why our installation is going to be going into a docker container all right so i'm going to show you how you're going to go through all of these things then afterward we'll then go into core development okay this is basically where we'll go into the core development there is so many things about this all right i've i have a github branch already set up in this format that i'm talking to you right now so you don't have any problem we're going to start together it's more it's going to be very easy for you to walk through all right so the prerequisites i'm going to discuss about the prerequisite the things that you need to know you know f beforehand before coming into this tutorial and all of that you know and we'll go through the starter branch okay which is the number one branch there and you know we'll set up the entire project you know have everything installed for you so that it will be easy for you to work with so i'm going to guide you into setting up your environment variables because we have a couple of them that ensures that your you know your software is actually running correctly and we're going to then configure the rent hard interface okay so that it can synchronize with the blockchain because rent hard by default doesn't synchronize with the blockchain so after you know um once you have rent hard up and running then you have to do some configurations that we have it synchronized with the blockchain and after synchronizing with the blockchain then we'll have to set up a contract structure so that you can start you know uh uploading and downloading data into the rent hard software afterward we're going to do a, a a simple testing of the front end and the back end so this project constitutes literally three angle three parts okay in one 
Okay, so the first part is the rent hard, which is the service that is responsible for the data storage, is the blockchain itself. All right, secondly, you will need the front end. The front end is the interface where you, you know, you control, you know, uh, your application. So it's, we're going to have all that part and then the back end, which processes the data that we are pushing into rent hard. All right, there's a reason why it's structured it in this way, you know, so that, you know, we, we avoid hassle. You know, but there is also a way of you doing it that you need a, a back end. You know, you can use Next.js and just use the Next.js API structure. All right, so those are some things that you should, you know, take note of. All right, so after we're done with this data branch, we we work on the back end service straight up. Okay, after we work on the back end service, configure it and make sure we test it out with, you know, a what would be the best option for it okay like something like postman or an an api client right so then the third one will connect our wallet because we need authentication to be able to distinguish the various users and their data being stored so we need to be able to identify them properly so we use this wallet format to get things you know in the right perspective all right and then lastly this fourth branch is basically you know we're gonna be we're gonna be working on coupling every angle of this project together the back end with the front end and the brain tad everything will be coupled together so that is what we want to achieve on this last step okay so once we're done with that we'll then conclude this particular tutorial all right so this is just a step and it's gonna be a journey so make sure that you are ready for this you know get your beautiful computers out you know let it be performant okay please if you're gonna be working with the sire network this will be like a fantastic example for you or if you're gonna be utilizing decentralized storage this is a perfect example for you okay you don't need to spend so much money hiring so many people but you will be able to pick up you know fluorescent knowledge from this teaching today and then put it into good use. All right, my name is Dallin Gospel again, and let me show you the demonstration of this project.